Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next after this. <laughs> Son of Beast here, welcome back to another NBA second round of the conference semifinals of the NBA playoffs. Me and Mifon are about to be ready to be taking on us to the Milwaukee Bucks back at Spicer Valve Forum as they are playing against the Boston Celtics. The current lead right at this moment is about to be happening here for us tonight as the Bucks are now rematching again the Celtics for this game. It is about to be happening here, one of the bestest games here in this series, but we have no idea what will it be. Do you think it will, will, uh, will it be more harder or even more smarter and easier before? Well, I am not even sure, but this could be the only option, but it might be the only way to get right around it. So, it looks like we're going to see how well they do here for this game. And bringing back here for commentators is OJ. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. I always appreciate you all for joining me here and again. We got a great uh, second round of this one, the first game happening here. Oh man, I always really like to see that one. The Celtics and the Bucks. Hmm, okay, I think we're ready to get things on to board this game. I think it should be a fun one too. Well, <laughs> fun one ever before, we're about to send you off to Pfizer.Forum Forum to start the first game of the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports here for the second round. Now let's get started here for the first game tonight. Shoot guard. Six points, three inches, number 23, Wesley Matthews. The man at center. Seven feet tall. Number 11, Brooke Lopez. At four and four, with his first seven inches, number 22, Chris Middleton. At point guard. Six for three inches, number 21, Drew Holiday! And point four, look for three inches, number 34, Johnny Zotanakupo! Your head coach for the Milwaukee Bucks, Mike Budenholzer! This should be a fun one here for a Pfizer Up Forum, and we got a game matchup going on between the Bucks and the Celtics. This is the same matchup with the winning series. Now we take you off to David. Kevin, thank you. Chris Middleton has been underrated for so long that now is he rated? Giannis Adentacupo said, people don't know how much Chris has sacrificed for this team to be great. He could easily be a 25 point per game scorer in the league, but he just wants to win. He knows that by doing that, everything else is going to take care of itself. Kevin? Well, he's, well, he's an all-star here again. Thank you, David. That's so much over to see here that Chris Middleton and the other guys are all set to go here. I might be thinking that there might be some other solution here that the team can definitely do. Well, in between those guys, I know they they got some higher scaling average out there that might be turning here for tonight. So the key matchup is about to be happening here as we have some other players that might be turning its way down on the board as Tatum and Milton are on for the key matchups here in a small four. Giannis Antetokounmpo and Al Horford are from the point four position. Drew Holiday and the other player of Marcus Smart are on the point guarding position. And across from here, the center of each matchup here, Robert Williams and Brooke Lopez in the center. And then from shooting guard, 
in between those two two guys, they always did have some a lot of uh, authentic out there, Matthews and Brown. The two fathers hit up and we're ready to go here for the first game at five served out for them. This should be a fun one because there was a lot of stuff going on in between. They're looking for some rematch here for tonight. Jonas, step back with the shot and he makes a two point of us. And you can tell that for, uh, for after the regular season over, their team has won against the Indiana Pacers along with McComb Brogdon and the other team. They have knocked those things down here in between the zones of Alley from the from Indiana and Milwaukee. Yeah, all because of um, the other players are doing really well. Keeping it hydrated and ready to get things on the run. It looks like they're all going to be doing it a second time ever. Lopez over Williams. Shot has been knocked out, and it's Williams with the rebound. Here's Brown, covered by Matthews. Screen on Williams. And he grabs the first personal foul on Milwaukee. Brooke Lopez grabs his first personal, and Jalen Brown will head to the three for a line for two. With that cheesing shooting drive, this was going to be a very off on the topic out there. It may be very strong and skillful enough to make the challenge, but it was very hard for him to try to like keep an eyes on here for the same targets. That's what they need to get the cue in to keep an eye on. His first free throw sent in. And you can tell that Jalen Brown is the only guy himself that he has been playing for a most accurate curriculum here for every game of the regular season to postseason. The second free throw for Jalen Brown is good. Bucks trail by two. Drew Holiday will dish off to William Matthews. He finds Brooke Lopez. Lopez rolling back to Middleton. Two point fade. Fade off shot, no good for Middleton. That's going to be a very hard one to pitch and then by. Vicky has the pace here as Brooke Lopez taking a rebound at Great D. Now that's what you want to do because great, greater D's have the greater skills to make them out. Drew Holiday gets up a two. And Akupo has got the assist down. Smart on Holiday, back to Brown. Matthews on him. The screen picks up on Williams, but it will be denied. Brown inside. And a two-point shot. It's good here to make the attempt for Jalen Brown. And he's on a double run here because of how Jalen Brown was going to make it up a run. Well, he might be a lot of hard to make the transition going by. He gets it back to Middleton. Moves over to Matthews. With the two wraparound shot is in and out. That will be a first foul called on Boston. That will be Al Horford. His first personal, first team foul. And Wesley Matthews will have a free throw line to shoot two. In between the O's guys, it can be very tough when to get right in the back. And Wesley Matthews for himself, we haven't seen him from last season trading from the Lakers to the back to the Bucks. Matthews hits the first free throw. This one is like a turnout to be a one of a kind. Wesley Matthews can, uh, can be the next one to be back here with the Bucks. You may not be able to, um, to play with the other team, but I think this is the only team that he wants to go for. I totally agree. It may be very tough to give an eye on that one, but it might be a strong effort to make the ability. Here's Smart as the team has tried tied it up by six. Only 2.45 to remain in the first quarter. Here's Horford, covered by Giannis. Screen on Brown. He wants to stop on Lopez to flex. What a play here for Brooke Lopez. That was a first block here in the first game. What a score. 
New changeup is being occurred as Bobby Portis Jr. is checked in for Brooke Lopez. Now Tatum is in the corner, covered up by Middleton. Two point up. He's fouled and he got it right in the hand. Middleton receives his first personal and that will be their second team foul for Milwaukee. Well, that was going to be a very easy call because what happened is he went right by the hand. He did hit him and that went off target for the inbound. And that may be a toughest skills to try to pick up the run. The Boston are shooting another free throws here at the free throw line to give him another try. First free throw falls in. And that because of a Jason Tatum was going to get there in time, you know, he would have been looking out lucky here to make a free throw attempt. New group substitutions being changed here as Daniel Feist is checked in for Williams, Matthews checked out, and Allen is checked in. And he gets good for two free throws at the free throw line. Giannis with the ball. He just back to Portis Jr. Back to Middleton. Back to Allen DeCumpo. Rolling back to Holiday. Two point shot. Rebounded by Bordis Jr. He's got his first rebound. Milton delivers a three. And now they're up by one. What a single digit here for those guys. This was a uh, standable run that they were going to make a three pointer. For Middleton, that's what they are going to do to try to make them pay for. Brown in the corner. Under two minutes left here for the first. Two pointer can't hit for Brown. Anakupo off to Allen. Goes back to Middleton. Bounce pass on Anakupo. There was a lot of great moment here with the ball movement here for the Milwaukee Bucks to keep it up on their run. They always do. They, they really wanted to keep it going out there. Just a single digit. They wanted to do this one again to try to, uh, to, try to knock him out. Holiday with the steal. Allen with the finishing scoop. All reflected by Jalen Brown. That was a great thing. And with the mole one block take by Brooke Lopez, he had a great start here first. That's what you really like to do for, Jim, for Brooke Lopez. He is knocking out like a timing. They wanted to pick him up. And now the new group substitution for the Celtics are changed as Brown, Smart, and Hofer checked out. And new changes for Middleton and Anacumpo checks out. Here's Holiday. Up over to Connaughton. Connaughton trying to try to scrub the games over. Trying to mess them up. Nora up to Porter Jr. Portis Jr. scoops it inside and hits the backboard. This one extends three. And the Bucks are leading up by three. They got some higher skilling average out there. They want something to pay for the price. Tatum going in from the paint. Two-pointer can't hit. Portis Jr. just back to Connaughton. He now delivers it to Portis Jr. Allen outside. Back to Holiday. Bounce pass, almost get whipped it off, but he holds on the ball. That was very close because what happened is he just went right for the foot, trying to hit the bounce pass. He wants to go right around him. He doesn't want to go right in the middle because if he went right for the middle, well, that could be a problem. Now will be a turnover to be released, or kickball is being declined. Tatum in the side, and he gets over Connaughton. That will be a number two point score for Boston. Here's Holiday. This is right over to Connaughton. Portis Jr. back over to Al Holiday. Five seconds to shoot, two pointer release, and that's a good shot. Shot for Drew Holiday. They are just putting a never extensive lead in the run. And that will end the first quarter. It's 15 to 10. Milwaukee Bucks show lead by five. And we will get a quick break when we come back after this. This one's like an outstanding run. In between those two, might be going for head to head at two and three.
and the open man and uh, obviously the ball going go in eventually. Uh, you know, it's a season, but there's going to be games that you're not going to play your best. Uh, you're not going to knock down shots. But at the end of the day, we find ways to win and uh, got to keep shooting the ball. Got to keep shooting the ball. The shots are always never going to fall for uh, Giannis on the Kupo, but it was going to be a very tough one to give him by the credit. It can be very difficult to be, go in between the range, but when I say about shot, shots are even falling, well, it was going to be very tough to uh, make, him, make him pay for it. And with all the shots, it can be very difficult too. So the second quarter is about to start now, as if you're joining us here for the first game of the NBA playoffs in the conference semifinals. The second quarter starting now. Connington for three. What a deliver range. And he wants to back it up here. He says, heads up. I'm coming back out there. Losing balance in control. Pat Connington delivers the first three-pointer for the first game in the second round. He's all quiet out there. Now Connington is all back alone. He is ready for it. Pritchard on Abaka. Abaka trying to help him out. With the two, great D, and it's rebounded by New Orleans. New Orleans got his first rebound here for the Milwaukee Bucks. Now he gets his off to Allen. Holiday moving back around of Allen. He finding Ibaka. Step back. The face shot is no good for Ibaka. That's a tough shot because what happened with Tatum, he wants to get right into it. And that counts for Daniel Feist and a foul is on Ibaka. That was going to be a very tough one call because I know that Daniel Feist was going to get there. Well, guess what happened here? He just wanted one smack here from the face, right from the back of the head. And he was just checking to make sure he's okay. Well, he's fine now. Well, we're going to need to like try to sell things down a bit. New changes are coming in for the Milwaukee Bucks as Brook Lopez, Matthews, Holiday, Adekumpo, and Middleton are checked back in. Feist hits the free throw. It's now a five point game. Bucks lead by eight. Adekumpo goes right to Middleton. This is back to Adekumpo. He just off the Matthews. Great free take. What a shot by Brook Lopez. That's a first bucket for Brook Lopez and assisted by Matthews. Well, you're talking about a great shift here. That was a great, great play effort to make that drive. And Ida Kumpo sends up with a block. The blocking player really loves it too. I think they call it the Greek freak. Well, there's your sign that you're going to go for because that is how you make the first block to make that attempt. No dunks for Robert Williams. Ida Kumpo makes a shot. He got his second bucket of the night. Drew Holiday just seemingly picking up his another assist here. And looks like they're going to need to try to work from the attack. White, right to Smart. This is back to White. Screen on Williams. Goes inside. He's fouled. That's on Drew Holiday. That'll be another team foul called on Milwaukee. That's a number team foul that he recently reaches up here. It was too hard to make a cut up. And the first personal foul is on Drew Holiday. Yeah, not a good sign for Drew Holiday because that was going to be a very rough call. And they know they got him. That was on him. Derek White shooting at, free throw, uh, at the free throw line for the first game of the second round. Only stopped the clock at 2.26 to go. His first free throw is good. That's a couple changes here for, uh, for the Bucks and for the Celtics as Spice is checked out and Horford checked in. We'll switch up here on offense. They're going to need to try to like uh, go for me another attacking motion here. If they wanted to try to get avoided, well, they got to need to try to like uh, do a different key. Second free throw for White is good. It's 22-15 lead. For the Bucks. Here's Holiday. He just is off to Matthews. Matthews still looking for a transition here, and Lopez inside. 
wants to get away from the uh, team and now they want to reset things up. Giannis in the corner. Finds Holiday for two. That's good for the two point lead here. And both Lopez delivering up with a two rebounding here and two points. It can be very tricky though. I think that was going to be Middleton or Drew Holiday. But nothing kills the momentum. Robert Williams, another two point bucket score. Only a minute and 45 left to go here for the first half. And I'm a Kumpo's guy. I need to try to figure things out. This one may be very tough for them. Sometimes it was never nothing gonna happen, but there might be another way to go right around it. Middleton, switch, and he scoops it up to switch things up. Now he wants to take the left side of it instead of going right. That was a lot of pressure in here. Now making some changes out there. He said, I have it all alone. Brown can't hit the three-pointer. And Al Horford will wrap around over around Honor Kumpo. Now he has another two point score. Here's Honor Kumpo. He loses off the Middleton. Moves over to Lopez. Now he switches off to Holiday. Holiday trying to scramble it up. Inside here, Honor Kumpo, two pointer off the mark. Smart on Drew Holiday. He goes inside. Ball's knocked loose. Here's the 2 on one attack. Middleton slams it down. Wow, no way. This was all happening here for Chris Middleton for the night. What a slam. And you can tell that Wesley Matthews got a great open feed. And he knows right away. Two blocks on Brooke Lopez. What a jam out there. He is all clean. He's clean, he's clear, and he's just knocking him down. New changes for the Bucks and for the Celtics as the couple players are checked out. And four players are checked out. As I had a Kumpo was, yeah, he's already uh, on, the, on the bench. Connaughton on Tatum. Williams on Portis Jr. Grant going back in there. Pritcher for three. That will be his first three-pointer for the night. And it's now a six-point trail for Boston. 15 seconds to go. Allen right to Portis Jr. Up and over to Connaughton. Connaughton scooping drive is off the bound. Pritchard with the buzz beater. And that will be off short. And that will end the first half. It's 28 to 22. Great job here for the first half for those two guys. They got some great runs here. And I definitely tell you, they had a lot of skill to take. And now we have some time to send you to David. David? Yeah, when first you guys were able to get the lead, what was the key to getting all those open shots? Uh, it was just his stuff. Uh, getting a rebound, getting out of the pushing, you know, find a way to find open guys. Well, you made the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. All right, DA, thank you very much. We'll stick around for the second half. When we come back, we will be right with you after this half is over. Great job by those two teams here for the Bucks and for the Celtics. But now it's time for your recap. If you have missed this one for the first half, we got some highlights for you. It's right on the board. And this is how they did here for the first half. That is it for today. Now let's send you back to Fiserv.forum to close things up to start the third quarter. And if you're just tuning in, welcome back to Fiserv.forum to starting off the third quarter. And it's 28-22. We all talked about his strength here before. Dynamic duos have it all encountered of Chris Middleton. He now knows his way further. He has done a lot of great shots in between. And yes, I always know that Chris Middleton got a great release bit out there. They have some different skills out there that they wanted to give it all. 
I definitely know about uh, that if Chris Middleton wants to keep it going with this team, I think you're going to do it again before uh, before the NBA contracts um, to be playing with a different team. So it could be Detroit Pistons. It could be like you know, like it could be uh, it could be a different team like San Antonio Spurs or even of course it could be Houston Rockets. That might be a possible ability I wanted to give things off to. Three pointer unable to make the three three point attempt for Drew Holiday, and I don't know if it was a block by uh, by Brook Lopez. I I got a little concerning questions going on if something's going on over here. Middleton has uh, his first rebound here, and now he will dish it off to Matthews. Matthews dishes off to Anna Kumpo. Anna Kumpo delivering the two goes way off target. Smart on the bird drive. He finds Brown. Brown Akumpo. A solid B for Brown Akumpo. And now he gets his own rebound. That'll be number two. You know, he used to be pretty tough here on Akumpo. He wants to do it. Oh! Whoa! Akumpo was like slamming in there tonight. Wow! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, oh, man. <laughs> Oh man, what a what a day! Brown on Matthews at the shot. He gets his own rebound, and he's got a great deal with the hustle. Three fifteen left. Matthews right to Lopez. Page right to Middleton. They're Bucks, Bucks moving around the ball quick and smart with the steal. Steal in coming. Smart up over to Horford. Screen on Williams inside attack. Kupo knocks it down and says, no siree, this is what I take it from here. And with the block of Brooke Lopez was a huge success, a mobile one block. Yeah, it was going to be in between those two. I know about Alan Kupo and Brooke Lopez got a great strength out there, but I don't know if Chris Middleton got a good block anyway. It could be very tough to make them pay for it. Daniel Feist checked in for Robert Williams, and also the Bucks are making changes as New teams as New Orleans checked in for uh, for Brook Lopez and Ana Kumpo with the center. It looks like that uh, it was going to be a roughest call. It could have been a foul here going on on the Milwaukee Bucks, but it looks like it was too much to give him a try. Holiday inside Middleton. Double man on it. Holiday outside for three. Good on the triple. And it's now another three-pointer for Drew Holiday. There must be going a lot of patience out there. And now the timeout has been called by Boston. 2.22 remaining, 33-24. They got some another uh, greater average skills that they wanted to go for. They got a lot of stuff here going on in between them. It looks like they're all ready to push their way on the board to make them pay. And if you're tuning in to the Stanley Cup playoffs, we will be underway with you shortly to catch you on the flip on the other side to get started off here for some couple games. First, we have is the Calgary Flames and St. Louis Blues. Then, the next game that we will have with you is the toughest one to make the battle of Pampers and the Capitals. Following along with the Oilers and Kings, that will be happening here for next week here on Monday night for another hockey game. And then, heading back to here, will be, will be another one to go right by it, and then we will flip here back to basketball as the Warriors will play against the Grizzlies at Memphis for the first game. It could be a very hard one, but I think we might be seeing uh, one of the best players in this game. Could be Stephen Curry right in the paint. And maybe another way to get right around it can be uh, tricky enough for Draymond Green to go right by. Horford off to White, back to Smart. He switches up to Tatum for three. Three-pointer can't connect to outside the range. You know, they are shooting craziness everywhere. There must be something else happening here in between those guys. Noah back to Holiday. Two minutes left to play in the third quarter. Two-point shot, good for Drew Holiday. This was another shakeout and a hustle for Drew Holiday. 
What a shot! Nuora on Allen. It's not loose as Ade with the steal. With the two on one fast break. But they decided not to do it anyway. Connaughton bounce pass to New Orleans. Right back to Holiday. Bobby Portis Jr. Over Al Horford. Good drive. And it's Holiday with the assist. They're going crazy in between back and forth already. <laughs> How well can you know about Drew Holiday? Well, he's like the only man himself that he is knocking it all down. Allen on white. Tatum outside for three. That's a good triple range to make him score and come back in the game. Tatum hasn't shoot anything going on right now, but it looks like he wants to like step it up a bit more. Holiday back outside. Bounce past to Connaughton. Goes right over to Allen. Six to shoot. Morris Jr. around Feist. Another miss by Bucks. This was like a heavy transition in between of the defense to go right by it. Wow, Feist goes slammed down, and thanks to Jason Tatum, he has another assist. And you can tell the way of his reaction was going to be a lot of a hard smoke out there. And that might be a very tough one to go for Daniel Feist to try to smack it down. Nora back to Holiday. Holiday with the two. Off tight, but it won't be picked up here with a number two. Smart off to Tatum. Tatum and Allen, five to seconds to shoot. With the two release, he makes the shot, and that ends here for the third quarter. Allen with the half court. Oh, almost had it, but it was too short. It was in and out. Close call. 37-31 is your score. We got fourth quarter coming up next after the break. Don't go anywhere. We got one more left. And for the moment now, to release the State Farm Assist of the game. There's another way that I can definitely go for another take. In between his zones, it may be a very good matchup skill. Thanks to Ida Kupo, he got a great pass to Drew Holiday and the other teammates. They got a great numbers up in the range, fearing the deer and the master. The master might definitely call it for Giannis Ida Kupo, but they always really look to see how they can do it for their game. They like it. If you're tuning into the fourth quarter, we'd like to uh, welcome you back here as we're all fueled up and we're ready to go. Here's Connaughton outside, covered up by Tatum. Inside, Portis Jr. Two for Allen. Gets caught off release here by Tatum, or White. Now, here's Pritchard. Pritchard on Abaka. Screen on Grant Williams. Outside, and it's deflected, but Williams still recovers. Tatum on Holiday. Five to shoot. Knocks away, and it's uh, Portis Jr. with the steal. Connaughton going for the three. Yes, sorry. What a release move for Connaughton. And there are so many uh, fans shouting for war and tents there. This was like everyone is definitely going to go for. But they all are cheering it on. They got a lot of hustling stats here. Four steals for the Bucks and five blocks at the same time here on defense and offense here as well. They're doing it back from D to A offense and pull them up with a smooth run on attack. We know they did. Number two releases for Drew Holiday. He has 13. And that was a great skills out there. Now that Drew Holiday is already in the line, he can be going for another one. Pritchard with the layup drive, that will count. Timeout called out by Milwaukee Bucks with 328 left. This was a lot of like a hustling work out there. In the moment of mine that I can keep, there might be another way to go by. And for joining in the second game, we got another matchup here. Coming back here, we are going to do another Eastern Conference for this game of game number two for the Bucks and Celtics, still at Viser Four. Then back in the Western Conference, we have another one taking things in the in the lineup out there. And after the Sixers and the Heat, and then 
The Western Conference games are this, are this one of the Warriors and the Grizzlies and Jazz for Celtics. There is a lot of intense speed out there looking at behind, but what do you what do you call with the Bucks without status? The status I, I always have um, I always have predicted though it was going to be very rough to uh, have them uh, do it on their own, but without any of our help, they might be uh, going for another one to make uh, to make the attempt. It can be very tricky, but the life may be a struggle. There might be no offense. It could be uh, going for another one to get bombed off. Yeah, I was definitely thinking of OJ. It would it would be tough, but I don't know if they wanted to uh, wanted to keep pushing up their way through the limits here and for to make it a little. But they want more. They want the trophy to bring things back again. Anna Koopa, great feed by Wesley Matthews, and it's eight points for Anna Koopa. That was a great skilling out there. What a hustle! Now Tatum, try to step it up a bit, he finds Williams, two releases of a dunk, and it's Tatum with the assist. Looks like there, there's some oohs and ahs moments here going on in between the, in between the, uh, uh, in between the bleachers out there. All the back to Matthews, moves back to Hanna Kupo, the shoots up, and he makes a good fucking drive. That's 10 for Adekupo, and it's now a 46-37 game. Brown on West Matthews, takes a two, and he makes another one, as this two-pointer comes in handy. It looks like they're shooting, they're crazy. It looks like they're not having things done good on defense. Adekupo, Milton, bounce past the holiday. He's finding Adekupo. And he gets blocked up by Grant Williams. Two minutes left to go for the fourth quarter. And a two won't be in time. Oh, get out of here! Ida Cooper got him on. And that's three in a row. Well, the fans of this one has got a great piece of it. They are now attacking it on the board in and out. Hofer and Williams. Williams has checked out smart and Hofer checked in. Williams in the corner. Trying to hold up with the ball. Over on the Kupo. Six to shoot for Boston. Brown on Matthews. Inside, Brooklyn Press with the top of the block. He is nothing crazy out there. Four blocks in a row? <laughs> Are you kidding me? That wasn't the only time that tells. 1.6 left to shoot. They're almost getting out of time out there. They gotta get the hustle. Two up. That will not be in time as Lopez takes the rebound. Lopez the shot to Holiday. Holiday up to Nick Middleton. Feeding back to Holiday. Now he takes out a Kumbo with the screen. Driving front. What a take for Drew Holiday. This one reaches up 19. Almost looking for 20 points out there. He might be going for it. Matthews on Brown. Brown inside the attacker. Two-point release. Rebound. And Ida Kumpo gets a rebound. Three in a row. They're looking some good old uh, good look. They're looking for some tall men to go with the rebound. They wanted to try to attack them. Lopez back to Middleton. Backing over Lopez. Two-point shot. Good. And another two releases for the Bucks. That will be Lopez with the second bucket. 50 to 39. Brown on Matthews. Gets stop to Smart. Holiday on Smart. Feeds off to Horford. Inside is Williams. Over Lopez. Gets it out of the way. On the Kubo with a rebound. And now he will have to call time out here. Well, it's a good idea to talk things over a bit. Now they don't need a man to man anymore. Now they're all even covered up. And 
and you know that Bengal was already on, on a great feat out there. They wanted to salute the play fans from the uh, from the court. They got a lot of great hustle inbound. They done a great job. There is a lot of chance out there that they want to go from in between the zones, and they are just fire making in the lane. The different team comparison, it was seven rebounds, seven assists here for Celtics, and 17 for the Bucks. 16 rebounds and 15, and then it was only a seven blocks for the Bucks on a hustle with four steals. This was like the only tough one to make a great thing to make them pay for. I know that one. This was a very uh, tough game that could be definitely released here like anybody else. And now let's present your New Balance player of the game as the player of game one goes to Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday knows he's got some great uh, technique in his, uh, in his own average. Sometimes he really loves to do it with the teammates to help him out get open. And sometimes he wants to go by his own with the shot as the players pass it along to Drew Holiday. I know that Drew Holiday was key with a lot of good strength out there. What also, and for game one, I think they're looking for another one in game two. He finds Sentasana Kumpo. 40 seconds left, to, 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Nora right to Lopez. High to Hill. Hill going for it. Oh yeah! George Hill got a first bucket. And he is now as his first bucket in game two. Great job by uh, George Hill. Now he's done it. Desmond for three. That will be inside, but it won't be enough for them to make the win. The Bucks win their first game, 52 to 42. What a great day here so far for the, for the Bucks. It looks like they're going to be ready to rustle things up and get back in the game for the second game. And I can definitely count on that one. They've done a great job out there with a hard work. And now sending over will be David Aldridge in the sideline. All right, Dave, take it away. Thanks very much, Giannis. Some early struggles, but what got you going? I just trust myself. Uh, I just have confidence in myself. That's what my teammates want me to do. Uh, they want me to stay aggressive. They want me to make the right play. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. Sometimes you have a bad game, you let your teammates down, but then they got to pick it up because your teammates need you. And uh, I'm going to be here for my teammates all day long. Well, you were certainly there down the stretch, man. Congrats. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you very much. And for OJ, thank you for coming right now for this one, part of the first game of the second round. It has been an outstanding here since we saw some great blocks, some steals, some dunks. I mean, wow, that's a lot of chances out there. That's a great hustle. Inbound it is here in Mr. Setup Beast. <laughs> I know I really love this one there, too. Even in so do I. Now it's time for three star players of the game. Starting off with you, OJ, your take. Thank you very much. I always appreciate your support. Here is your third star. The third star, we all three players of the Bucks. This one goes out to Chris Middleton. Receiving seven points here, one rebound, three assists, and a performing dunk. That was all it took, without even taking answers from in between the players that wanted to give it a try. And also a, a lot of like a, a good on strength here, to give it a wrap up run. Now here's number two for Mifo. That will be my choice to favor. Giannis Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. 10 points, four rebounds, one assist, one steal, and tremendous three blocks on D. What a hustle. And the dunk performed here too. That was a lot of intense speed out there. Yeah, he's like a young man, like an overrated player out there. I know he is. He's got a lot of uh, strength inside. Looking for him, for him tonight. And for number one, for you, Son of Beast. This one goes to a New Balance player of the game. That was Drew Holiday. 15 points, three assists, two steals. A tremendous uh, assist here. And all of a sudden, without even looking at the changes, on the great side that they have. What a tremendous run for Drew Holiday. And that should do for the first game of the playoffs of the Celtics and Bucks. So, we really enjoyed this one here too. 
And if you're tuning in to the Stanley Cup playoffs, get ready because we got another game here in Game 5 that's about to be happening here from each arena. Me, me phone, and we'll be doing the uh, commentaries here when we come back here next time for the next one of these Stanley Cup playoffs in the postseason. And with that being said here, peace out everyone for a while as the NBA 2K22 of the NBA Playoff Dial. Hope you all enjoyed this video and this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. Check out other videos that we did and it will be, is right on the calling card below. Check it out if you missed it right over there while you were watching this game from the right hand corner. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. It's me, me phone, and OJ or Guy. Great night here at Milwaukee. And also, of course, the Boston of Bleed Green. That'll be happening here in game three and four after game two. Thank you for watching. See you all next time.